negative emotions are like unwelcome guests. Just because they show up on your doorstep does not mean they have the right to stay. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's audio, we have our weekly motivational segment, Freddy Fry Day, with our good friend, Freddy Fry. In today's message, Freddy talks with us about how to release bottled up emotions that are hurting us. Enjoy. If at times you feel like the pain is unbearable and you're at your breaking point, and this can be caused by a host of things. It can be something that's going on with your intimate relationship. It can be something with your friends, something with your family, something at work, something in your business, but you're just down and out. And it's been many, many days that you've tried to ignore the pain. You know their issues, you know their problems, but you continue to keep it bottled up. You continue to try to ignore it and act like it doesn't exist. And that's what leads you to the exact point that you're at right now. Listen to me. It's almost impossible for you to heal if you keep that pain concealed. I heard a wise person say, it's not the load that breaks you down. It's the way that you carry it. And some of us are carrying these heavy loads and all of this baggage and it just weighs on us and weighs on us and weighs on us until it gets us to our breaking point. But this is the moment, this is the day that you learn how to release that. And that will help you lighten your burden. It will help you lighten your load. And that allows you to see things clearly, which in turn allows you to make the best decision moving forward. See, I'm here to see you win. And I'm here to help you win. So one of the ways that you can learn how to release the pain and take all that baggage off of you is through positive releases. See, what happens to us is we get broke, we get battered, we get bruised, our egos get scarred, and we have all of this bottled up pain and all this bottled up energy. And we turn to negative releases. We start drinking too much alcohol. We start popping pills and doing drugs. We start overeating. We start bullying and being mean to other people. And that's simply because we don't understand what our gifts are. We don't understand what our strengths are. We don't understand what our go-tos are. For me, it's always been hip-hop. Once I overcame all my fears and all of my shyness and all of that, I started writing raps. And anything that happened in my life, any pressures, any pains, I just wrote about them and I released it. For you, it might be poetry. For you, it might be singing. For you, it might be working on something mechanical or fixing or repairing. For you, it might be exercising, walking, running, could be dancing or a host of other things. Figure out what your positive releases are and use them to release negative energy, release negative toxins into the atmosphere. I know for some of you, this one is tough, but it's so, so important. And I salute each and every one of you that have sent me a message in my inbox asking for help. Because that is a major key to releasing pain, to releasing things that are bothering you. It's being strong enough to ask for help. People are here to help you. It may not be anybody in your circle. It may not be anybody in your family. It may not be anybody even close to you. It may be somebody like me. Find your go-to when you're down and out, when you're hurting. Find that person that you can just simply release to. I tell people all the time, Say whatever you want. I'm I'm free for you to release. I don't even have to give you any response. Sometimes we just need to get it off our chest. And if you need a little advice, that's fine too. But have a person, have a go-to that you can just release. You can just talk, 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 and let it all go. And if you want them to give you a little bit of feedback or advice, you can ask them that too. But you have to release it to the world. The only way your heart, your body, your soul can heal is if you release and not keep it concealed. So please, use your positive releases. Please, never be afraid to reach out and ask for help. Because ultimately, your success and your happiness depends on how little you keep bottled up. 
See, when you let it all go, you put yourself in a position to expand and grow. And thus, you give yourself an opportunity to win. And that's what it's all about. Putting ourselves in position to make each and every day of our lives a Wednesday. So please, do me a favor. I better yet, do yourself a favor. Go be great and elevate. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. If you have questions, you can ask those by going to 7goodminutes.com slash askclyde or get me on Twitter at Clyde Lee Dennis. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.